Modo 901 now delivers faster, higher quality painting. Many of the tools have been rebuilt to provide improved blending, interpolation, stroke evaluation with subpixel sampling and more precise brush orientation. A new ability to mask with gradients in the parametric ink tool lets you use parameters such as displacement, slope, altitude and incidence angle to vary the opacity of the applied paint. This allows for greater control over how paint is laid on the surface and is useful for managing multi-material relationships common in modern PBR workflows. When working with texture replicators, you're now able to use a vector map to determine the texture direction. You can do this by using the hair paint tools to brush the vector normals. There is a new nodal shading node called Texture Switch that allows you to dynamically choose between multiple shaders or textures. This lets you input any number of texture layers and then apply them via an input value like a gradient, and this could control how their application is weighted. The Texture Switch is particularly useful for texturing replicated objects. If the input value is not driven directly, then the particle ID is used, applying textures randomly throughout the point cloud. And if the interpolate option is turned on, the textures will also be blended. And finally, you're now able to apply a wireframe shader as a material layer in the shader tree. This draws lines along mesh edges. Because it's a regular material layer, it has options for controlling line size and colour, and can be blended with other materials and also masked. 